The Wood Shop is sponsored by Chef Work Kits and Easy Wood Tools. All right, welcome back. I hope everybody had a happy and safe new year. I'm gonna make a coffee grinder today. Look at that, it smells delicious in the shop. And I used maple burl. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna use the screw truck to mount it on. And I just have this little spacer because I don't want the screw to go in, go in too far. And we just put that on. And we'll go ahead and true it up. All right, I gotta have it sanded up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the other half, the top part of it, this is where the coffee goes, and then I'll finish the bottom of, of this one and the top of the other one. But that's beautiful. Too bad that's gonna be on the inside. I didn't wanna drill the hole all the way through, so I made a little spacer for my screw chuck here. Let's go ahead and true this up. I'm going to use a bowl gouge. All right, this is going to be the top, so I'm going to use the grinding mechanism, and I'm going to recess it in there just a little bit, and then it needs to have a inch and a quarter hole run all the way through it. I'm gonna go ahead and just sand this. I don't need to worry about any of this in here. It's gonna get covered up and then I'll drill that out with a Forstner bed.
apart. I got that cleaned out. I put the tenon down on it. So they're just going to lock together like that, just like a box. Now I left it loose just a little bit because I don't want it to have that compression fit like a like a regular box. I want when you lift up on the top of it, I want the bottom to, to just stay on the counter so you don't have to pop it off and get coffee grounds everywhere. So it is a little bit loose. So what I'm going to do is sand up the inside here and then put it back together like this, bring the tail stock up and then true that up and get rid of that little transition there. All right, I finished sanding it and I brought the bottom piece up, tail stocks compressing it against there. I'm just going to go ahead and true it up and make that transition clean. I'm going to turn it back up to about a thousand and use a bowl gouge. All right, there we go. I like that a lot better. I'm going to go ahead and sand this and then I'm going to go ahead and tape it on there. I should have made the tenon fit fit better in the first place and then I could have sanded it afterwards and made it loose, but and then that way I could have finished the bottom with just a jam chuck, but I didn't do that. I'll do it on the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and sand this and then I'm going to tape it all up and finish the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the majority of this and then pull the tail stock away. And I'm going to turn the speed back up about 1500. All right, I'm gonna sand and finish that. All right, I just put a pad on there so it wouldn't damage the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and finish sanding this. And then all we have left to do is drill out the top part here to fit that. And I'm gonna just use a Forstner bit on the drill press for that. And put in these two little holes on the side for the bolts. I just sanded the whole thing with mineral oil and I'm going to let it dry for about a week or week or so and then I will put on a couple of coats of salad bowl finish and it's a food safe finish but the mineral oil is fit food safe too. Just like that. So I went ahead and drilled my two holes. That one popped out on the side but I think the nut's going to hold on to it fine from the bottom so I won't worry about it. But this little guy right here slides right down inside of there and it fits in the little recess I made. All right, I got the whole thing together. That wasn't a problem, it, it locked in there. So, whole thing's on there, stop moving. There's my base. I'm not sure, but I'll have to play around with it. I think you can adjust how the coarseness on it, just like a pepper grinder too, but. All right, there we go. This is a pretty basic design. Just made a box with a hole in it. I've seen ones, uh, square ones, with a little drawer on the bottom of it. I've seen some round ones that have a little drawer on them too. But they've been making this old style coffee grinder for quite a while, but they never really worked. They were just more for display. But the new ones actually have ceramic gears in them and they actually grind coffee. So if you have a coffee lover, um, I did get this from Craig at Chef Work Kits if you're interested, but you can get really creative with these two. I've seen, I just did a Google search and, and looked up a bunch of images. I just decided to go with the box style. It works out well and does what it's supposed to do. All right, and one other thing, I want to welcome uh, Easy Wood Tools on as a sponsor. And thank you very much, guys, and I look forward to a great new year. All right, as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.